Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Trevor. I'm an onboarding engineer here at SkySiv. This video actually pairs with the first video on tapered members. So if you haven't seen that one, please go ahead and watch that by clicking the link in the description or finding our video on our channel. Um, that video is also going to explain how tapered and haunch members are analyzed in the back end by the SkySiv solver. So what this video is about is we are going to be focusing primarily on how to model a haunch and use it within SkySiv Structure 3D. So haunches are two members put together with the second member usually attached below the first member tapering along the length of the member. So if you can imagine, obviously, just a normal section um, with another tapered member attached to it, usually um, on, the, on the bottom. So to start, we want to be in Structural 3D as we are now. We just have a, a normal member here. Then what we want to do is we want to go to the section builder. So right now, this is an undefined sec un, uh, not defined section, an undefined section. So we'll go to the builder. And just as a reminder, you can create tapered or haunched members out of section templates or database sections, so long as they are either I-shaped beams, uh, rectangular sections, or hollow rectangular sections, or T-beams. So if we go to, let's say, the American database, AASC, and we bring in one of our W members here, just click on one. This type of member is an I-shape, obviously, so we can use this uh, as a tapered member. So just as a refresher, if we click on this first member and go over to taper, and we click on non-prismatic, we can see that the, the type is going to automatically select it to taper. But if we hover over the tooltip, we can see how to get to our haunch structure. So we have our main section here, and then the haunch is what, again, attaches below that. So we want to have two sections to be able to create our haunched uh, overall section. So what we can do is we can go over to the database again, make sure we turn off the clear others. And we'll put in, let's say, a T-shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate this shape a little bit, and we'll come back, and we'll get that uh, haunch section going. Okay, so we're back now, and we have our the beginning of our haunch section. So what we see here is going to be the starting point of the section. And then just like in the tapered members uh, function, as we taper the haunch part down, um, that section will be the endpoint, and I'll explain what that means, obviously, in a little bit. So now when we go to the taper function or the taper tab, we can see that because we have two members attached to each other, the solver or the section builder is going to automatically recognize that, okay, hey, we have a haunch here now, and that's grayed out. So from here, it's a lot simpler than doing a taper member because um, the taper only comes from the bottom. So again, all, all these uh, fields are explained in the previous tapered member video. This is just going to focus on the, on the haunch part. So We'll leave these as the defaults of maximum prismatic member sizes and then four prismatic segments for the analysis. Now for the depth variation, this is where if we adjust this from say 4.87 inches to two inches and we refresh a little bit, we can see there's our um, indica <coughs> indication of the haunch moving. So we can see that it's going to move from 4.87 down here up to that uh, two inch depth. And if this nomenclature or color coordination is, is at all confusing to you, what you can always do with haunch members or tapered members is after you adjust the variation in depth, um, you can click on the view summary button here. And that's going to show us, okay, here's our here's the start point of our haunch, and here's the end point. So we have the total depth of the haunch is 4.7 inches, and the total depth of the haunch here is 2 inches. And we can see that's going to go from this to this um, as we travel along the length. So when we're all set, let's hit submit. And now we can see that the section one is defaulted to our new section that we've uh, created. And to view our section, we can turn on the visibility setting 3D members. And now we can see there's that taper there. And if we move our angle here, we can see that from the start node of one to the end node of two, it starts with that full section and then it tapers down, or the, the haunch tapers down to that two inch point at the end of the section. And from here, you can use it as any other normal member or any other tapered member. And that's how you would model a haunch section in Structural 3D. And that's gonna wrap up this really quick informative video on the haunch portion of the tapered member functionality here in SkySiv Structural 3D, as well as the SkySiv Section Builder. Please make sure to look for that previous video explaining tapers and how they're calculated in the actual solver if you're interested in that as well. 
Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure to follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook for more interesting content. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see you on the SkySid platforms.